All right, folks. Well, tonight, as I explained in my last video, I'm going to show you how to uh, swap out the gear, uh, the drive gear on a little ATV so that you can get better low-end torque um, for riders that may be a little bit heavier or if you're going to be on more hilly terrain. So watch, because now i got to deadlift <laughs> this little four-wheeler up onto that bench. So uh, if nothing else, we're making a hernia. It's a good time to mention, don't try this at home. Hey, this is, this is good. A little precarious, a little dangerous. So off the back of any of these little Honda clones, they have this little cover here, and that covers your main drive gear that goes back to your rear sprocket. Now, uh, the tensioner for this bike doesn't have like an actual just chain tensioner. It goes off the tension of the rear sprocket, and that's all adjusted by loosening this bolt. And there's one here and one on the other side, and then you can adjust it by these little screws underneath so there'll be two bolts on this one here on the top and one down here on the bottom now they're five sixteenths and sometimes they're a little bit tight so you have to break it loose with a ratchet these ones are already loose from me uh, doing this last week so don't lose those they're fairly important so this cover comes off. Now here's our sprocket. So this here is just being held on by C-clips and I put two on there because I like a redundancy. Uh, the sprocket that was on there, I'll show you, it had a, a different type of retainer. Okay, so with the retainers taken off, just little C-clips, C the whole sprocket itself just slides off, just like that. Now, if we were going to put the old one, this is the one that was on there before, and it was a, it's a fair bit larger. We've slid our sprocket on to the main drive gear. All right, so it slides on. Now, when we put the retainer on, and then line it up with the holes to, to, to bolt it in, it locks it in place because they're offset. So it, uh, it makes sure that it can't move in or out. So it locks in there nice and tight. And then you just put your screws in here, or your bolts, sorry. And it's in place. It's not gonna come off, can't shift left or right. It, uh, it just stays perfectly straight. Okay, <clears throat> time for some science. Now, the reasons uh, that I switched down to a 12 tooth from the 14 that was on there was because with a 14 tooth, it has to go around 2.64 times for every one rotation of the rear sprocket. Okay, so you can think of this like your bicycle. Um, when you're in the kind of like the mid-range gears, it's not really nice for starting, but once you're moving, it's easy to pedal and you can go at a good clip. But if you have to go up a hill, you really have to pedal hard and put a lot of weight into it to keep going that same speed. By switching down to a smaller front sprocket, so the, the 12 tooth, it goes around 3.08 times for every one rotation of the rear sprocket. So this is more like when you're in your first gear or your, your first or second gear on your bicycle, where, yeah, you know, you don't go quite as fast, but you can climb up anything because uh, because the ratio, you have a lot more torque coming off your front sprocket. You can go up anything because you've got a better uh, torque ratio for your front and your rear sprocket. Now, this can also be achieved by uh, replacing the rear sprocket and going with a larger one. So again, the bigger the rear sprocket, it's going to affect your torque ratio as well. But I happen to have uh, the 12 tooth front sprocket, so I put that one on. So um, 
basically so for my daughter, for her learning, she doesn't have to go as fast to be able to go up a hill. She can crawl up it and it's a lot easier on the four-wheeler. Now, because the four-wheeler here is just a little 50cc, I don't want to put a whole lot of strain on that engine. So it going a little bit slower, but having an easier time going up a hill is worthwhile to me. And it's, it's safer for my daughter because she doesn't have to go so fast to make it up a hill. She can, she can crawl up it at a more reasonable pace. Well, folks, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out. I'm, I'm always happy to, to answer. Uh, if you have anything that you would like me to do on a future video, let me know. I'm always up for a challenge. If you, if you have any requests, if you're having a problem with your bike or uh, if you'd like to make a modification to your bike, you know, let me know uh, what it is. What, what, uh, what do you do with your bikes for, um, for your kids if they're learning or if you have them, maybe they're getting into a little more advanced and they're going a little bit faster or they're going a little more off-road terrain. What do you do for them to help get them into, uh, into those next kind of levels up? Uh, again, uh, like and subscribe, thumbs up, so are always appreciated. Um, and uh, we'll see you next time.